Hey, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> is, this, is this guy just trying to escape? I don't think so. And listen, the game works so good, so good on Linux. It's just insane. Fifty-six minutes of queue. Oh, that sucks, man. Salut everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to run Diablo 4 on Linux. And I'm going to show you a way, which is in my opinion, the easiest way and the more reliable way to get the job done. Are you ready? Let's go. So let's start with the beginning. You know, you have multiple runners that can handle Battle.net. But what I found out is like the easiest way to um, run Battle.net is actually through Bottle. It's straightforward. You don't have a lot of work to do and it works really, really well. Not a lot of options to go through. We're going to go through all of them, but you will see like it's not as hard, I would say, as Lutris. And I think if you are a, a beginner or I would say like a moderate uh, knowledgeable user of Linux, Bottle is going to be the way to go. So what is Bottle? Bottle is a runner and you will see like it's it's pretty straightforward when it comes to uh, installing like a video game and especially like a launcher like a Battle.net or even Epic game. So how, how do we, how are we going to do that? I would say I'm a user of uh, Arch Linux and I really love using the OR uh, repository. The issue with Bottle and the OR repository is like sometimes it breaks because it's not officially supported. I had no problem for the last year and like six, I don't know, like uh, two or three weeks ago, it started like to, to break everywhere after an update. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to, you're going to be able to run it natively. It's, it's still like, you know, sometimes a source of problem. So because I'm trying to make this tutorial as simple as possible, I will advise you to use Flatpak. And Flatpak is actually the recommended way to install bottles on your Linux machine. It's, it's written here. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making the rule, guys. So to be fair, I'm not a really big fan of Flatpak because most of the time it takes more space when you install app via Flatpak versus like natively. But in this case, it's, it's not, you know, it's not worth the hassle in my opinion. Just go with Flatpak, it's gonna work. So how to make it work? First, you need to install Flatpak. So here is all the distribution here. I'm using Endeavor OS. In this example, it's my also like main operating system. What I've done is like I set up a virtual machine with a fresh install of Endeavor OS. Like that, like that we're going to go through all the steps together. And I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to uh, run Diablo 4 and actually every other game, uh, Battle.net game on bottles. So you click here, Endeavor OS. It's going to give you like all the different like commands you need to put in your terminal. So this is a fresh install. I, I just updated it uh, just to show you. This is Endeavor OS. I just started it. It's fresh. So we're, we're going to run the command. So the first command was update everything. So sudo pacman syu. You type the password up just to make sure everything is up to date. Perfect. It is. We are going to install Flatpak, super simple. So, sudo uh, space pacman uh, dash s capital S Flatpak. Okay, so repository, we're going to go with number two, GTK. So, it's going to ask you if you want to install all of this. You say yes. So, it's going to install everything. This machine is pretty powerful, it's a, it's a thread reaper. So I'm pretty sure it's going to go fast. I don't know if I'm going to accelerate uh, the whole process here. No, no, okay, it's done. Uh, they said on the actual like tutorial from Flatpak that you can add Flatpak, like repo you want to add. I'm, I'm not sure we need to do that. And then you need to restart. So I'm lazy. I'm not going to do it. We'll see if it works. So we're going to restart the VM. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. Okay. Second phase. We're going to install bottles. So how do you install bottles? 
you go on flat hub you type bottles you're gonna have this results bottle that's the application i was talking at the beginning so it's 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 a runner for running windows application on linux what i like about it is its simplicity so flat pack install flat flat hub okay that's that's the command line let's do this so flat pack install okay max flat hub Come. So you, you, you're just going to have to, you know, copy and paste it. Me, it's a little bit complicated because I'm making the video right now. Yes. Okay, so this is all is going to install. Okay, yes. And this is what I like about this. Because you, you don't have to have a headache. You're, you're going to use more like... Hard disk, hard, hard disk space, but it's going to be way easier uh, to set up. It just hassle free, in my opinion. Okay, it's installed. So, on paper, I should be able to find it here. Yeah. So, you have bottled is ready. Click on it. And here we are. <laughs> Simple as that, dude. Okay, welcome to bottled. Uh, okay. Windows in bottles, bottle is compatibility runner, blah blah blah. Okay, almost done. Continue. So it's gonna set something up. Don't skip this part because otherwise you won't be able to start. You just have to do it. So you do it. Not not a big issue in my opinion. Alright. Here we go. So we're gonna create a bottle. Okay, this is the next step. What we need to do is create a bottle for Battle.net. Now I'm going to show you. Create a bottle, we're going to call it Battle.net. It's going to be a gaming bottle, okay? Um, we're going to let everything default for the moment, and we're going to type create. It's going to start create the bottle. It's going to install like everything related to the gaming environment. You have nothing to do. It's just going through it. Okay, so this has been created, okay? So what you do here, you go inside your bottle, and then you're going to find a lot of different options. We will go through them, okay? There is actually like two things we need to do. We need to configure it. And then we're going to install Battle.net. So... Let's start with the beginning, the configuration. You have the settings here. Wait, I'm going to try to make this video a little bit bigger if we can. Yes. Thank you. So settings. Here you choose your runner. This is really important, okay? Uh, this is going to make... This is, this is going to be the one compatibility layer, and some runners are going to be compatible with certain game, and some of them are not. We'll get a little bit deeper into it. Here you ask, you can validate, you can do whatever you want here, okay? Like you have all the options. Uh, you can activate uh, Fidelity FX resolution, game scope, like all, all the stuff. Like I'm, I'm going to share my setting with you and I'm going to show you how to make sure Battle.net actually work. So we need a specific runner for Diablo 4. So what runner did I use? I was able to run the game uh, at, directly at launch of the open beta of Diablo 4. So for that, you need Battle.net to be working and you need to have a runner which, which work for Battle.net, but also for the Diablo 4 game. The one I used for three hours and which was like super solid is this Chronic um, runner. So this gentleman here is creating like wine builds you can download and directly like put into bottle. The one I used was Wine 8.3. I'm going to put in a, a link in the description below, but this is the one I use. Wine 8.3, staging, TKG, AMG 64. So you download this one, you install it into bottle. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This is, this is a, a, actually like the hardest part, which is not hard at all. The second one I tested, which worked, pretty well with Diablo 4 is 
Wine G Proton uh, 7-39 Diablo 4 Beta. Beta. Okay, this one is specific for Diablo 4. And what the glorious egg roll is actually telling us about it is like, you can use it, but only for this game, because the modification he made within the runner might break over game. Kind of makes sense, okay? So this release is only for Diablo 4 and should not be needed in the future. All right, so you can credit a bottle just for Diablo 4, all done. Or you can be a little bit like a uh, risky side and go with the Chronic one. I didn't have any problem. Is it going to be working in the future with Diablo 4? I don't know. You have two options, okay? Both of them work. I, I tested both of them. So how do we install those runners within our bottle? Um, here you have a list. You see, you have only two. Okay. And you want more than that because obviously they are not there. So here you go in, pre in preference. So you go back to the main screen. You go in preference. You go to a runner. And you see this little icon, you can download every runner you want. Now what you're going to understand pretty soon is like the runner I'm looking for, they are not here. You don't have the 49 uh, special Diablo one. You don't have uh, the Chronic I show you based on 8.3. You see it stopped at 7.20, something like that. So, so you, don't, you don't have those. So how, how do you do it? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to close bottle because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to open like a Firefox window here on my VM. And here is what I'm going to type. Uh, GitHub Proton G Wine. Right, up, up. Okay. Wine G, that's the one you want. You go to release. All right, so now you have it here. And you're going to selection this one. You're going to download this file here. Wine Lutris G Diablo for beta. Click on it. It's going to download it. Okay, we got it. So if you go in your download folder, it should be here. All right. I'm going to extract it. I'm, I'm going to do it the easy way for you. Okay, like I, I won't use the command. I'm just going to do it the easy way. So it's extracted. You have your little file here. Okay, so this is, this is a folder with all the files in it. Right click, you cut it. And now where you need to go is in the .var folder. Okay. And this is a place where Flatpak stole all the information. You go in app. You see your bottles application from Flatpak. You go to data, bottles, and here you have runner. And guess what? You passed what you just downloaded. And now, when you go into bottles, surprise! <laughs> you know what's going to happen, guys? Go into my battle net. Settings. Woohoo! It's here. You just selection it. Now you have it. So you selection it. All the rest, honestly, you, you don't really have to, to change any option. Uh, you don't need lat latency flex for uh, Diablo. You could activate uh, fidelity super resolution if you want. Why not? I, I think it's already done within this runner. Like, y you don't need to touch a lot. You have nothing to do with it. So now you have your bottle, which is ready for Battle.net. And you're going to tell me, Max, like, how do I install Battle.net? What I notice is like, if I set up the installation uh, with Litris GE, it might block. So I want to make sure it goes smooth for this, the purpose of this tutorial. So we're going to install Battle.net with Soda. So, you know, it's here, Soda. That's, that's the normal one. So how to install Battle.net? Pretty easy, dude. Install program, Battle.net, click there, start installation, and it should be working. What I notice again is like with, with the other runner, 
I run into like some little issue. So I want to see like with using like the default runner, if it's easier to run. So the good thing is like it's doing everything for you. You have nothing to do. You just press download and zoop. It's getting there. You like the little sound effect? Zoop. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's just going there. I'm going to let him do his saws and uh, see how everything goes. Yeah, I got stuck on that previously. I don't know why. Okay, so here it works. You continue. It's going to install everything. Pretty straightforward. So here is it. Uh, let's do... Okay, you see, you can continue without logging. And it's working. Okay, you got everything there. How do we make it work for specifically Diablo or other game? Here is a trick. Now you have it done. You go to settings. You switch to Lutris G Diablo for beta. And this runner is going to work at 100% of the time for Diablo 4. So now you have it for Diablo 4. Let's say you want to play other games. You want to play, for example, Overwatch 2. What you, what you will do is like you keep this bottle and you make sure you have the runner you want to use for Overwatch 2 and you just switch before starting. Simple as that. Let's see if I can show you on my machine. Okay, so now we are back on my machine. And so this is my Epic Games. This is my Battle.net. I'm going to show you. I have my Battle.net program. Here I'm going to be using like uh, Lutris. Okay. Uh, I just click on start here for Battle.net. And boom, and I'm telling you, it should be working right off the bat. Surprise! So guys, I really hope it kind of was, to me, it's the easiest way to do it. Um, I really thank you for watching. If you want to watch me playing this game, I'm going to be live on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget uh, to like this video if it gives you any type of help. Um, yeah, see you on stream. Thank you very much. I'm going to enjoy my time on Diablo right now. <laughs> if I go through the login queue, dude. One minute, easy. <laughs>